Hello everyone and welcome back to The Red Brick. In today's video I will be discussing about the hashtag Save Minecraft controversy saga. All sources will be in the link in the description, so let's just get straight into it. After the very well done 1.16 never update, Mojang announced the Caves and Cliffs update on the 8th of June 2020 at Minecraft Live 2020, where they announced all the new things such as the dripstone caves and the new mountain generation. However, one key thing they talked about was the deep dark. Now this was meant to be in the Caves and Cliffs update, but it never came, so it's instead it was it released in the wild update. A lot of people joke about the wild update being the Caves and Cliffs part 3 update. Also, in Minecraft Live 2021, they show concept art for the birch forest and fireflies. However, they never got added to the game. One reason uh, people got mad at this because they made some apology type video of them discussing about these missing features and they quote said concept art is not a commitment end of quote it really seems like mojang is now slowing down on making great content like this into minecraft now i am sure you have heard of this but the Bedrock console version of Minecraft has a marketplace. This is where you can buy microtransactions called mining coins and buy skins, worlds and texture packs. There has been a lot of stolen content there, such as the Faithful Texture Pack, which was completely copied and the original owner said that the fake owner was lying to his developers and the community and eventually after that it was taken out of the marketplace. Another marketplace controversy was the Aether mod where a Bedrock player developer copied the whole entire mod and put it into the Bedrock marketplace and it even got featured on the front page of the marketplace as well. The original creator, King B Dogs, confirmed that this was stolen. He also said that Microsoft or Mojang do not take action on stolen content. However, they do take action if you are the original creator being ripped off by another. The chat reporting system has recently been the main source of this controversy where many players like me absolutely despise this feature. If you have been living under a rock for the past couple of weeks, here is what the chat reporting system is. Basically, you get to report a toxic player who is being mean to you, or someone else. You report them, their account is reviewed by a Mojang employee, employee or probably a bot, and then their account gets disabled permanently for multiplayer and realms. Yes, it's that easy for someone to get banned. Now you may be wondering what happens to toxic people who play anarchy, anarchy servers like 2B2T. Well, I have no idea, it's probably a place of peace now for them. Oh wait, I forgot to mention there is a mod for a no chat reporting system feature, so 2B2 is probably still breathing well. <laughs> Since the unfortunate news of this pathetic release of something players never asked for, Mojang are not backing down to delete this terrible feature. Why, you may ask? Well, Mojang says they want to make a more welcoming community to ensure that the Minecraft community will be completely free of inappropriate behaviour, dangerous situations, bullying and harassment. I do see Mojang's side to this however, some players are being unfairly banned and some are being banned for no reason at all. Just imagine you, the player, getting a screen on your Minecraft menu like this and wondering what in the world have I done? 
and even one of the rules in their list is misinformation. So they are basically banning free speech if someone reports a person with a misleading opinion. But still, Mojang is not backing down and is still updating this in Java 1.19.2. Since the controversy, Minecraft's social media pages have been dead silent, with not an apology or anything from them. And now, Mojang is relying on some of its well-known developers, like King Bee Dogs, to actually post their updates for it. As well as a very disturbing tweet from DocM77, saying he knows who did this and they are the most entitled people you'll ever meet. So now, we know that higher-ups at Mojang, or even Microsoft, are in fact entitled and people who just don't want to listen. But we might never know who. Microsoft is obviously involved in this mess. You can see they planned this out from the start, immigrating Mojang account accounts to Minecraft ones, the increase of players from the PewDiePie Minecraft series, and last of all, the elephant in the room, the chat reporting system. However, many players were going to Bedrock Edition from the PewDiePie series, so Microsoft followed up after with the Marketplace, so then they could get a piece of the pie of the sweet, sweet money off the popularity of Minecraft. Remember, Microsoft is really only for the money. However, a video from Minecraft themselves called The Final Secrets of Minecraft suggests at the end of the video Microsoft is only really putting the chat reporting feature into the game to boost sales. I'll put a link in the description of a video where its chief explains a lot more about this. But there you go, proof that Microsoft is only in it for the money. But why would they implement the chat reporting feature if they knew it was going to kill a large chunk of the player base anyway? Well, I can't guarantee you that Minecraft will recover from this, but I don't think Minecraft will die right now. But sadly, Minecraft is dying because of the chat reporting feature. But will the 1.20 update make up for this or will it break the game's reputation entirely? I suppose we will find out in the future. If you want to support the hashtag Save Minecraft mo movement, well, first of all, don't harass any developers as that won't help. But I will recommend don't buy anything from Minecraft or Mojang, such as merchandise and realms. Well, thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you could like and subscribe, that would be very much appreciated. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.